composing gloves here with Amp Studio. Today we're checking out how to add courses to Amp Studio so that you can give assignments to students and help teach them about music production. So to do so, first make sure you've got pop-ups enabled. If you don't have pop-ups enabled, uh, you're going to have a hard time because you need to give Amp Studio permission to a Google Classroom and to a Google Drive. So those two things, uh, pop-up is pop-up. So just make sure you have those enabled for these first steps. So up here in the corner, there's a classroom icon. Go ahead and click that. It's going to ask you to sign in. So I've already got a uh, account that I've signed in with, and it's going to just log me in. But on your first time, it will ask for permissions. So just make sure that you're able to answer those. So once that's done, we're going to come up here to the add course area. So this whole side panel should appear. We're going to click this add course. We're going to give it a course name. This would be our Amped Studio Production Basics. Maybe that's what we're teaching. We'll hit create, give it a moment, and it will create the course. And each course has encapsulated in it a bunch of different things. So you can give you know, announcements, uh, materials, links to projects and files that are going to be helpful, uh, topics, and then coursework. This is the stuff the students are going to do. So to add students and, and, and adjust things like this, if you come up here to this little hamburger menu and right click, there's the ability to create these various materials. So you can add your students here and, and do things of, of that nature, delete a course when you're done, update a course, stuff like that. So for example, say we want to create an announcement, we could say, you know, first assignment is ready. And then you could put a link uh, to it if you so desire and hit create. And it will create it. You could add topics and materials in similar ways. But what I want to focus on here is the coursework. So if we right click on coursework, you'll see a create coursework is here. Similar to how you can you know, right click up here and go to create coursework. So we're going to right click here, go to create coursework. And in here, we're going to give it a title. We'll call it, you know, first assignment. Maybe it's a uh, MIDI basics. And you might give a link or if you have a document such as a PDF or a Word document that you would like to have with more detailed instructions, you can do that here. And we'll go to our date. We'll make it due a week from now at the same time. We'll go ahead and hit enter and we'll make it worth 15 points. So to access the coursework we just created, you can come over here to coursework, click on it, and you see here's our coursework. Now there's two functions here. The first one is you can edit the coursework and the second one is you can update the coursework. So let's dive into each one. So the coursework itself is nice and you might have instructions as a PDF, but you can actually embed instructions right into your coursework. So if you click on it, you can see here, we're able to add these different steps. So say I click here on step number one and I click edit, I am able to add steps, remove steps and add notes to each step. So in this, let's say that this assignment, they need to add a MIDI region they need to add a track, add a MIDI region, and edit some notes, put some notes down. Let's just say that's all that assignment one is. So we say, okay, for that one, we're going to do our step one. Let's add a note to this step. We're going to say, click here to add a new track. And then we might take the arrow and move it over to where the new track is at and hit create note. And so now that's going to be our first step. Now I'm going to add a new step. And on step number two, I'm going to add a note. Uh, let's click on step number two first. So we'll add a note here and we'll say, you know, click here. In fact, we want to double click to add a MIDI region. And I'll take this and I'll move it to where that area is and I'll hit create note. And so presumably they would have seen step one. They'll click it. They'll go to step two. They'll double click here and you'll see there's the note. And now we want them to double click on the region, right? So now we'll say add a step. We'll add a note. We'll say click on the region to edit the notes in it. And we'll go ahead, we'll move this pointer over here and hit create note. And so they're going to double click. It's going to open up the piano roll. And we might, we might have notes that say this is the piano roll. And then we'd have them put down notes. And you know, this, this would be the assignment. They would save this and submit it to you. And so here we would hit, you know, save. And so these are our save steps. So you can see what it's going to look like when they're done. And assuming they follow them, 
you know, to the letter, they will line up with where things pop up on the screen, which is really nice and can be a little bit more interactive than just a, a straight up PDF. And it's that easy to create course assignments or coursework. So from here, you might want to add another one. Say, you know, you've, you've, they've completed the first one and submitted it and you've graded it. You can now come in here, you can create coursework and choose, you know, a new one like second assignment. And then maybe this one's like adding effects or, or something of that nature. You give it some max points and a due date. Let's just say it's due in a couple days from now. This doesn't make much sense considering that's due a week from now. So maybe, you know, we'll move it back here. And then we hit create and you'll see here it creates a second assignment and you're able to edit that assignment in much the same way. And in this way, you can teach music production to your students. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.